The massive plunge in stocks last Thursday sent volatility rocketing in a manner that has always preceded stock rebounds. The CBOE Volatility Index, also known as the VIX, closed at the fourth highest level ever recorded. The VIX has never hit such an extreme point without the S&P 500 immediately and sharply bouncing by more than 10% over the next day or two of trading. And true to its history, stocks rebounded on Friday. The spreading coronavirus and oil price shock have factored into the most volatile period in the market since the financial crisis. The S&P 500 on Thursday recorded its worst day in more than 30 years. After the close on Thursday, losses since the February high were over 25%. So where does the VIX go from here? Well, let's take a look. On Thursday, the VIX closed above 75. This is a level that has been surpassed by only three other dates. All of those dates were in 2008. With Friday's stock surge, the VIX closed the week at 57.83. This, by historical standards, is still relatively high. Although you may not be able to see by this chart here, in the financial crisis, the VIX remained above 50 for over two months. The bottom of the stock market came in early 2009, when after the VIX subsided, it erupted again, back to the level of just over 50. With the current volatility, the VIX chart is extremely important. We all need to watch it closely to see how it reacts in the coming weeks. Hopefully the VIX will subside soon, but then watch out because in my experience, it is the potential second eruption that typically does the most market damage. So keep your eyes open. At the same time on Thursday that the VIX was spiking, the Fear and Greed Index scored a low of 2. Now, I'm not sure how long this index has been around, but the level of 2 is the lowest on record for this index. The VIX is certainly more accurate, but we'll use everything we can to gain an edge. And lastly, let's go to the charts as I want to show you some interesting readings that we can see relatively easily. So let's go to our charts. Now what I want to show you just very simply and quickly is a measure on the oscillators here. But first, looking at the Spiders Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, the symbol is DIA or diamonds. The price chart, that level here is the current level which surpassed that uh, downtrend there in late 2018. Now the chart we're looking at is a 20-year daily chart. Let's go down here to the MAC, and there's a few other oscillators that show similar readings. Again, the MAC. We're now at a level of negative 13.833. That's right here. That is double and triple most of the measures. There is no measure here in this 20-year chart that goes down this far. This shows you how negative the market is. Now, I went back on other charts, and I went back into the late 1970s, and I still found nothing that compares with how much fear there is in the market today. Moving down here, you can see in the histogram, same thing, way down here, nearly double or triple any previous measurement. And then the same thing on the price rate of change all the way down here. Nothing that compares with it. Back up here to the price chart. One last quick look. So there's a lot of fear in the market. But does that mean you have to buy? No, it doesn't. You can sit on the sidelines and watch the fireworks. There's no reason you have to be buying in the market. But we'll continue to take a look at the market and stocks in case you want to do some buying. But if not, if you just want to watch, that's fine too. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.